Hi guys, welcome to a new video review and today we are looking at as you can tell another Hot Toys figure and it is Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future Part 2 and here's the, here is the box, absolutely beautiful one thing I have noticed is the number plate is wrong that should be the barcode because he's got the Mr. Fusion he's flying, it should be the barcode that's just one of those little things box is very nice, very similar to Marty's Turn around to the back. Oops, if I knock everything down. With the custom crew responsible. And that's it, really. It's a shoebox. I'm not going to open it up because there's nothing inside, so there's no point. But, guys, let's rock it into the future and see how cool this figure looks. Okay, here we have Dot Brown out of the packaging. Now, this figure has caused a bit of controversy. Mainly due to this. Here's facial expression. And certain poses you could get away with if you've got him standing with the DeLorean, like in the famous movie poster, but I can stand it. it. He looks amazing. I will give him that. He looks amazing. But the face expression. I don't know why they went for that one. Uh, can I get his glasses to stand on his head? No. But he does come with a lot of accessories. As his face sculpt. Comes with his glasses. A paper. Which is the opposite of the one Marty had. I had the other newspaper. That's pretty cool. Move my light a bit. He does come with an emergency cash box. Which, open up. Got all the money inside. But if you notice, the doc, there's pictures of Doc Brown in his western outfit. This is cool. But it's something that doesn't appear... Into like the third movie, no, the end of the first second movie, he's wearing a different outfit, but oh well. He does come with his little like uh, binoculars thing, very cool. And he does come with the thing he used on Jennifer to make her fall asleep, which mine. One side, hello dog, bear with me. Now this hot to uh, don't run dog disturbed us again. <laughs> um, he is a cool figure, he comes with all the same articulations as every other fig hot toys figure out there. Um, but oh. Just having Stan there with that shot expression, it's a bit odd, but if you get him to do some cool poses, which uh, I'm going to struggle doing, it isn't too bad at all, not really. I've seen a lot worse out there. <laughs> Sorry about that, my dog thought he could come help. And like I said, he comes with his... Memory finger jiggy. He's on Jennifer. I like that. But mine is a bit broken, so I'm going to have it closed up. It can just sit in Doc's pocket. Which, Hot Toys, you spend a lot of money on them. And, like, that's slightly busted. The watch face on Doc's watch has fallen off. It is a high quality. It's everything else is high quality. Just a few little niggly bits that Hot Toys have just let themselves down on. Now I'm bringing this thing really close. His tie is brilliant. His outfit him itself is just absolutely stunning. And 
down to the trousers, down to the trousers, his socks, and his boots have got so much detail on them. I never even noticed this in the film, but Hot Toys are amazing, and it has got wire in the back, so you can kind of do a few. Again, standing in the lawn, coat blowing out the back. You can do that sort of thing. But Doc Brown looks amazing. The accessories, I'm not that bothered with. In Manchester case, if they do bring out the Marty McFly from the past, that'd be quite cool. But other than that, <sighs> I do like it. I, think, well, I, I love it. I'm glad they've had, actually brought out a Doc Brown figure. But the facial expression, I can sort of get past. But I'm still not sure, to be honest. It is just a bit unusual. It's just a shock face. It, like that, it's absolutely stunning. I. 100% love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And if you've got, if you've got the Lauren from Back to the Future Part 1 Hot Toys figure, cool. I did not. I missed out on the chance of getting that. And I do regret it. But it's one of those things. Do I like this figure? Yes. He's going to say I'm very proud with my Marty. Which I'm very proud Which I think is amazing. Will I get another Duck Brown? I'm not sure. I probably will. Will I keep this one? Yeah. I still want to keep this one. It's one of those things. I, bits I don't like, bits I absolutely love. Oh, before I forget, he does come with some different hands, like all figures, but doesn't come with a huge amount, but eh. But guys, this is Dot Brown from Back to the Future Part 2. He's going to look really cool next to my Marty. And it's a figure I... I love. I like it and I hate it at the same time. It's one of those it's a double it's a double. Some bits I love, some bits I don't like. But eh. I don't know. Um I'm gonna display him, I'm still gonna think he's brilliant. And I can't actually wait to see what else I do with Back to the Future. Will they do a DeLorean for Back to the Future Part 2? They've showed it off for years now. Like most things, Hot Toys show stuff off and don't actually do anything with it. Which sucks. But guys this is my Back to the Future Part 2 Dot Brown review. It's not a longer video, because there's not much to say about him really. He's just an amazing looking figure. The facial expression, I understand why people hate it. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I can live with it. That's just my personal opinion. But guys, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support my channel, please feel free. You don't have to don't feel obliged, but guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Oh, bye for now.